the size of a mustard seed, that you can speak to the mountain, and the mountain has to move out of your way. But see, some of us, we look at the mountain, and we say, that's too much. I cannot handle this. I can't handle the pressures of this relationship. I cannot handle the pressures of my finances. I cannot handle the pressures and the things that are happening to me on my job. And so I'm just ready to throw in the towel and to give up. And so we make our mountains oh. into quicksand. And yeah. we begin to, dem- to live on the demise instead of building right. ourselves up. The Bible exactly. says to build yourself up in your most holy faith. What? Right. Praying and speaking in your heavenly language. Yes. Can I put a pen right there and help yes. you to understand that some of us need the Holy Ghost. Yes. Uh-huh. We need the Holy Ghost. Uh, to, we need the Holy Ghost in our lives yes. Yes. because the Holy Ghost is a keeper yes. and it will build us Preacher. up when we're torn down. Uh-huh. It will lift uh-huh. us up when yes. we can't. Uh, do I have any help in here? Come on, sir. I'm trying to be real vicarious today because I'm trying to make sure that you hear me and you understand what I'm saying. But I came to let you know that faith is yes. going to develop yes. you. And if we look at this text, we can we can parallel Dr. Carter with the three Hebrew boys, and we can see how how yeah, yeah, yeah. how they had to have faith in order to trust God Uh in such a way that he would deliver them. Uh 